Welcome to the dairy, the coolest place in the store. And the freezer. It's so cool, well, it's freezing. It's really, it's really cool. I, I really like shopping here because it's, um, it's clean and it feels, you know, right. Well, if you didn't have a food safety program, I wouldn't be shopping here. If you, if you read all that stuff about diseases and that, that's, you know... It's got to be fresh. The image of cleanliness and freshness doesn't happen by accident. We have a food safety program in place called the Five Steps to Food Safety. And you are about to become a part of it. Here is the Five Steps promise. One to sell only clean, safe and hygienic food. Two, to ensure that product is received from warranted suppliers only. Three, to ensure that all staff understand and implement the appropriate codes of practice. Four, to monitor and record the effectiveness of the system. And five, to take all reasonable steps to ensure that the five steps to food safety program is implemented at all times. During this program, we'll be introducing you to the Five Steps system. We will show you how the system works and we'll explore some of the areas that you'll be working in, in depth. Cleaning and basic housekeeping are all covered by the system. Simply follow the five steps. You'll be shown how to use these and you can always refresh your memory by following these charts and the five steps. There is a video specifically about cleaning products and record keeping that you'll be watching after this. You'll find posters like this in all areas of your department. They are guides to safe food handling and following them is your responsibility. Each process has five steps attached to it, so they're easy to remember. Food safety is not only about preventing problems arising, it is also about keeping up our standards of quality. Much of food safety is common sense and simply having pride in your work. The greatest risk to food safety comes from microorganisms or bugs. These are so small as to be invisible to the naked eye, but allow them to get onto food and the consequences can be dire. Bugs are found on raw foods, contaminated surfaces, also on our bodies, hair, cuts, pimples and in our stomachs. Some of these bugs can cause food poisoning. Some of these bugs can cause food spoilage, which causes a loss of trust, a loss of customers, and a loss of profits. Bacteria need time, temperature, food, and moisture to grow. This is why cleaning, stock rotation, and refrigeration are so important. It's a frightening fact that these bugs can double their numbers every 20 minutes, given the right conditions. I don't buy frozen foods that are soft or with lots of ice on them. This tells me that they've thawed and refrozen. Bacteria grows when food thaws. Temperature control is clearly very important. Incoming product checks are taken to ensure product arrives in good condition. It is now up to you to ensure that it stays that way. When we keep product cold through distribution to storage and sale, we call this maintaining the cold chain. Bugs don't grow very fast at cold temperatures. It's extremely important to make sure that you're not the weak link in the cold chain. The dairy. Foods are stored at low temperatures, two to four degrees Celsius. This restricts bug growth, but does not stop it completely. This is where stock rotation comes in. There's a catchphrase known as FIFO. It stands for first in, first out, and means that old stock must be presented for sale before newer stock. Some molds can survive the cooler temperatures, so keep an eye open for product that spoils in the case. Bugs produce gas when they grow. So look out for blown packs of dairy products, yogurts in particular. Well, it's a symptom of modern day life, isn't it? All these convenience foods. But the thing is, they've got to be fresh. I had this mate once, and he opened this yogurt, and yuck, it was awful. 
The five steps to food safety for the dairy case are 1. Load the case as quickly as possible. Product temperature must be below 4 degrees Celsius. 2. Keep product below the load line. 3. Check that product is within best before dates and labels are accurate. 4. Stock rotation. FIFO. First in, first out. 5. Keep the case clean. Clean as you go. I like to shop here. The place I used to shop couldn't be bothered to wipe these shelves down. Well, that's right. How can they have safe food if they can't be bothered to rub the shelves down every yeah. now and again? That's right. Cleaning is important not only from the customer's perspective, but it helps the case to keep its temperature. Following these steps will help ensure products last until their best before dates and beyond. And importantly, don't cause anyone to become ill. The freezer. Welcome to the freezer, the coolest part of the store. Here, product is held until it's ready to be loaded into the retail freezer. Substandard stock or credits are also stored here, waiting to be picked up by suppliers. It's important to keep these well marked and separated. You might not think the freezer is an important part of the store's food safety, but if things are not right in here, a number of problems can easily occur. By storing food at minus 18 degrees Celsius, its quality and safety is maintained by preventing bug growth. There are five steps here. One, keep the door closed unless entering or leaving the freezer. Two, air circulation is to be maintained by keeping product clear of the walls and fittings. Product must be kept on pallets, not on the floor. Three, date code all stock and keep credits separate. Rotate stock, FIFO. First in, first out. Four, all frozens must be kept covered to avoid drying out and contamination. Five, the freezer should be kept clean and free of ice at all times. Remember, bugs don't die in the freezer, they just sleep. It's important that product does not thaw out prior to sale, as this allows bugs to start growing. It needs to be kept below minus 12 degrees Celsius and preferably at minus 18 degrees Celsius. The food should remain rock hard up until selection by the customer. Anything else is not good enough. Retail freezer. The five steps for the retail freezer are 1. Load the case as quickly as possible. Ensure that product is within date. Do not allow product to thaw. 2. Keep product below the load line. 3. Check product in the freezer for clumping and thawing. Clumping is product sticking together in lumps, showing that product has defrosted and refrozen. 4. Check temperatures at least 5 hours apart. 5. Keep the case clean. Clean as you go. Frozen foods with lots of ice on may mean that they have thawed out and been refrozen. This tells you and customers the cold chain has been broken and the product may not be safe to eat. Well, that's the main areas of your work covered. Remember that you'll find these five steps posters in your area of work. Following them is your responsibility. If you don't understand anything, just ask your supervisor. With regard to your own personal hygiene, these are the vital points to remember. Always wash your hands thoroughly before handling food or after getting them dirty by taking a break, touching your face or hair, touching rubbish or raw foods, or going to the toilet. You should also use the hand sanitizer every time you enter your department. Your hair must be tied back if it's long. If possible, you should get changed into your uniform at work. Otherwise, you must take care that your uniform is clean when you start. With regard to jewellery and your hands, please keep nails short. Only a wedding ring is acceptable, and please, no nail polish. The idea is to look and feel like a food handler. Make sure as well that your apron is kept clean. Wash it in hot water. Use a deodorant, and make sure that you shower daily. 
If you have a cut finger, only use a blue coloured plaster and be sure to wear a finger protector over it. If you have a stomach upset or other illness that may put food at risk, please let your supervisor know. So let's recap. The program is called the Five Steps to Food Safety. You are responsible to make sure that it works. Your responsibilities are to keep yourself and your area clean, handle food safely, only work with clean and sanitized equipment, ensure that temperatures are correct, and follow the five steps. If you are aware of anything you feel may be putting food at risk, you must report this to your supervisor. And that way, we'll live up to our customers' expectations and the five steps policy. Food safety? I haven't got time for that. That's not my concern. That's yours. Say to the grandchildren, you can't beat good old-fashioned elbow grease. I like to see discipline in any operation. Without discipline, quality can't be expected, can it?